thinking the right way is just as important as doing the right things. So don't get caught up just doing a whole bunch of stuff. Do the right things in the right order at the right time and that'll be like opening up a safe with the right combination. Hey, do you know what this Rubik's Cube has to do with whether or not you will achieve business success or not? Everything. Let me explain. If you take this Rubik's Cube and you try to solve it on your own, there are literally tens of thousands of different moves that you can make to try and solve it. And 99% of people do not solve the Rubik's Cube when they try. Why? Well, because first and foremost, they don't know where to start. They don't know the algorithm or the process of how to make the colors that they want be in the place that they want. And so they randomly try things over and over and over again. Now, here is what's crazy. If you hopped on YouTube and watched a six minute video and just followed the step-by-step -step process that is taught in some cases by eight or nine year old kids, you could solve this Rubik's Cube in less than 10 minutes even after you made a few mistakes. Now, why do so many people try to figure stuff out for themselves when the answer already exists? And I want you to think about this in relationship to your business. Whatever industry you're in, is it true that somebody has achieved the success that you are looking to achieve, whether it's to make your first 100,000 or 250,000 or 500,000 or a million or 10 million? Is it true that in the business that you're in, somebody's already doing well? Well, I assume you said yes. So why aren't you doing what already exist as far as a blueprint or a path. And there's only gonna be one of several reasons. Number one is you might think you're lazy, and I don't think you're lazy. I think you just might be disciplined to certain habits that you have right now. But if you said, John, I don't know where to go to get the answers that I need. I want you to think about business in these terms. To build a successful business at to any level, there's a very specific pattern or algorithm to generate leads, whether it's one extra lead a day or 10 or 30. And you can generate leads from your own contacts. You can generate leads by creating content you know, on the internet. You can do direct mail. You can do advertising on radio or television or on Facebook or Instagram or many of the other social media channels. So all of the how to generate leads already exists. But even before you generate leads, you have to know some of the fundamentals of marketing to the right audience. So you don't wanna just be you know, putting ads out there or content out there without also knowing that you should be speaking to one person who needs and wants what you have more than anybody else. And an easy way to do this, take out a sheet of paper and write down avatar number one. So profile number one. And write down who needs and wants what you have. And so if you wanna know who needs and wants what you have, just get a profile of your existing clients, of who's buying my products or services, why are they buying it? Where are they searching to buy my products or service? Is it through networking? Is it through word of mouth? Is it on my webpage? How are they getting to my webpage? Everything can be reverse engineered to the formula of traffic times conversion equals revenue. So the amount of leads you get, whether it's cold calling, whether it's at an event, when you can go to events, whether it's online or offline, you need to know how to speak to one person and you need to speak to her or him in a way that lets them know that you have something that is gonna help them. And here's what I do for every single one of the programs, products, or services that we have. I create an avatar of who my ideal buyer is for that program, product, or service, and I ask myself these questions. 
what is the biggest pain that they have right now? Okay, what is the biggest fear that they have right now? What is the biggest worry or concern they have right now that my product or service can help them with? And I write out their pains and their fears and their worries and anything that might be bothering them. Then I ask myself, what is it that they want? I write down a list. Well, they want a program or product that they trust. They want to make sure that it will work. They want to make sure that they can trust the person that they're buying it from. They want to make sure that if they put the time and energy and money towards it, they're going to have a predictable result. Not a result, a predictable result that they want. So I write all of these things down. So their pains, their fears, their frustrations, irritations, then their wants, needs, and aspirations. And then I ask myself, what questions are they asking in their mind right now? And I write out their, they're wondering this or asking this. And then I create content, whether it's in videos like this, whether it's in articles, whether it's in ads, to help them answer some of the questions they have. And when we're talking about building your business, you have to remember that you have to get the uh, word out that you're out there and you can do it right now inexpensively online. You can do it through networking. You can do it through being in groups. You can do it in a variety of different ways. And every one of your strategies of what you do has to match your ability to execute and do it. So don't pick a strategy like doing videos if you hate being on camera. Don't uh, say I'm going to write articles if you're not going to write yourself or hire a company to write for you. So pick the strategies that you're actually going to do to completion. And here's what I recommend. If you want to start solving the Rubik's Cube, start with the 2x2, two two, then 3x3 three three and 4x4. Four four. Why? Because in learning the 2x2, two two, you learn the fundamentals for the 3x3. Three three. And that translates to you doing things in business that's actually easy for you to do or easy for you to learn first. As the CEO of your company, you need to be focusing every day on marketing and generating leads and every day on converting those leads into paying customers. And then every day, the people that don't buy, you need to nurture them and develop a relationship with them. And when you focus on lead generation, lead conversion and lead nurturing, now you have a daily process of what every business owner that makes it to 100,000, 250, 500, a million consistently knows they had to figure out. And when you want to get to the next level, the next level, the next level, it's a function of more leads that are qualified, that you convert, that you nurture, and then you create some processes and systems that'll help you grow and scale. Thinking the right way is just as important as doing the right things. So don't get caught up just doing a whole bunch of stuff. Do the right things in the right order at the right time, and that'll be like opening up a safe with the right combination. All of the information you need to grow your business successfully, profitably, is already available. Learn the fundamentals and then scale from there. Hey, this is John, and if you liked that video, watch the next video because it is packed with things that you can do right now to achieve success way faster than ever before.